Hello and welcome to another Godot small tutorial. Today I'm going to present how to make objects editable directly in the editor. So on the screen you can see that I have a red box and also the metal box. The red box is destructible, so if I shoot it gets destroyed. Oops, oh, that killed me. But also the indestructible box, uh, well, it's indestructible. Uh, also the mobs, they can be alive or they can be dead. Notice that these ones don't move because they're already dead, but their sprite have, ha hasn't changed yet. If we go into the editor, we will see that this is how the map currently looks like, right? So I have some boxes. I've marked this as indestructible. I also have a monster. This one is dead. This one inside here is not dead, but I cannot see that on the map. So that makes editing maps a bit more harder. Let's get into the script and see how to change this. I'm going to open the monster, open its script. I will add the add tool keyword, which is going to tell the editor, hey, from this point onwards, you also need to execute all of this code in here. That includes the process and also the physics process. We will need to make sure that some of the logic doesn't get played directly in the editor. You can do that and you're going to see everything happening here. But in our scenario, we just want to change the sprite of the, of the monster. I have this variable in the monster called dead. So I use the export in order to have it available in here. It's called dead. And also, also it's a Boolean, yeah, which is initialized with false. First of all, we would need to add a setter for this variable. This is how we do it. We do a semicolon, uh, we do a semicolon at the end, new, dead dead equals new dead we set the sprite uh, the frame is zero initially and if dead the sprite frame is for that's a sprite frame that i want to have for my monster in order to show the dead state now i will also need to skip all the processing if oops engine is editor hint return what does this code do well if we are inside the editor we skip the the processing so we do don't do anything we do the same for the physics note that i chose to do this on my object if you want the object to do something inside the editor you would need to not do this and do the actual code that's responsible to do whatever behavior you want to do let's do the same for the box as well Add the tool. I have my indestructible in here. Set new i. I don't want to copy the whole word. Indestructible equals new i. The sprite is zero. If indestructible. Coincidentally, the indestructible sprite also has a frame for, for the indestructible state. Now if I go back into my map, we can see the change applied. If I click one of the boxes and I make it indestructible, the change is automatically done. The same with the monsters. If I play, I directly see those changes being applied. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this kind of short tutorials, don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, let me know in the comments if you want me to cover some specific topic. If it's short enough, I will make a tutorial. If it's something longer, I will need to see how to make it shorter so it's like in this small digestible chunk.